Okay, let's go. Closed room, two spades making exactly two. So David will even accept the odd one one no trump contract, I presume. Uh, no promises. On clubs and let West rough. So the bidding went to Club North, a heart diamond south, so strong club negative. Transfer by south to transfer these four points that that'll do. Just for your information, in the closed room, Contrario Cajes plays... This Italian pair used the two club opening on balanced hands of 18 to 19, or 23 plus. So that is the opening we expect to see from north. So if my eyesight's not deceiving me, he's in fact open two Yes, and they also play a weak, no trump, none vulnerable. A two heart response shows at least four no, spades. It happens sometimes. <laughs> Rarely, but it does happen. Well, I noticed. So that one club bit up there is in fact two clubs. Two hearts transfer, two spades by north, and south will say thank you very much. I appreciate you telling me that. And I think he will just pull out the green card. And we will have a relatively flat board, although USA 2 picked up four imps when two no trumps went down one and two hearts went down two. East West. The Netherlands and the Venice got picked up one imp. Well, that's pretty, pretty neat to stop nice and low. I'm guessing, and this particularly is with the cards not lying in uh, too friendly a fashion, although the ten of Diamonds is right. So don't hold me to it, but I'm going to hazard a guess. USA one. Oh, operator Bass is aware that we don't have the East West player name, so he's going to set them up now. They should appear automatically when the first board was displayed, but they didn't, so he inserted them manually now. Thanks, Bass. Okay, club lead, that will not tax the clearer in the least. The clearer can play four rounds of clubs and pitch two diamonds from dummy and let West rough, that won't be a problem. And then just lose two spades, two hearts and that rough. So Madala must obviously be the best of the four. Oh, he changed it now. He does. Because he had just capital letters all over in Madala. And the rest didn't. On the basis of something now he's down to earth again. Dutch duck with ace third and king double non king double non west hand and ace third on east hand. If at any stage during the session you want to look at the scorecard in the other room, or perhaps to see how the play went if they managed to make some contract that went down in this room, you can click on the My Results tab and then other table choose the board you're interested in and you'll see the whole hand diagram bottom right and you can play it through uh, a trick at a time. There's no seniors USA 1-2 playing on BBO so I'm definitely going to hazard a guess that USA 2 have gone through to the next round as a result of USA 1 conceding. At the moment, that scorecard shows the results for this board, where two spades was just made by North, as we can see, and the result for one more board. So there are a couple of boards ahead of us, which is as nature intended. That's why we started later. I have the feeling um, we don't uh, will have serious uh, comparison problems because the, the closed room is pretty fast. Lauri Akasashi gets the from a contrary for Hayes or for our fast player. In fairness, for the team that has gone through USA 2, we should nominate that are Peter Boyd, Neil Chambers, Gaylor Castle, Larry Kuzlov, Steve Robertson, John Shermer, and Donna Compton, who is one of the organisers at the cabin. She's a captain, non playing captain. 
But as we see, they also managed to stop in two spades in the other room. Playing kind of a natural system with a strong no trump. North would open one club and I don't know whether South would respond one spade or not. I think he would, even with only four high cut points. And then North would jump to two no trumps. Two spades is a better contract than two no trumps. I can see it in the my results now. They actually bid a club a diamond, one no trump, and South then transferred into two spades by bidding two hearts. I only have the Italian convention card on my screen, Roland. Uh, maybe you have the Dutch one. What discards are they playing? What what does the five of hearts mean, if anything? I don't have it just yet, but I can get it. No problem. One moment. French Netherlands Venice Cup. France North opened the club, and we must say thank you. That'll do. I must be honest. Uh, Yar would get a spade on the south hand, unsuccessfully. Partner would have rebid two no trumps, and that wouldn't have been particularly good for me. Sorry, you would have opened. Oh, north opened a club. I would have responded a spade on the south hand. Oh yes, and that would have failed. Yes, here you better play a strong club. It's obvious to the defenders that Declarer will be going for some discards on the clubs once he's drawn Trump, so they're in a hurry to grab what they can from the red suits. By the way, looking uh, at the transnationals, amazing uh, good performance so far by uh, the Russians uh, playing for Parry match. The Russians, they uh, two weeks ago, they won the Prince Albert. They Cup. play upside down attitudes, so the five of hearts was encouraging. Here on second position is the current uh, European Junior Championships from Israel. Israel. So it's always good uh, to see juniors perform well. And juniors are coming, or young players are coming. Yeah. We have a, a pretty um, young Dutch team. And we have uh, a pretty uh, even younger USA 2 team. Average age 31 for USA 2. Well, now I'm asked to post the link to the live video again. I'm sorry, but I can't do that every other minute, every time a new spectator arrives. Hope you understand that. I'll do it frequently. Welcome, P.O. Sorry, I should have introduced the panel at the beginning. I'm David Stern from Australia, and on my right is Jan van Fee from the Netherlands. And I don't know if he's going to be helping us, but P.O. Sunderland from Sweden sitting two across to my right. Do we see any Swedish players here, P.O.? Well, I suppose East the term upset. Okay, uh, David, sorry. I was going to say East can tell that his partner doesn't have the jack of hearts because he led the seven through. If he had the jack, he might yeah, even have led it to uh, hold the lead if the king isn't put up. Or he would have, at any rate, led a, usually a low spot card from uh, three to the jack. Okay, so if declarer has got the jack, then it's equals with the king, and he's not losing anything by cashing the ace of hearts. Yeah, the only thing is here that south is dummy, so the jack is visible in dummy. What a most excellent point. No, two imps, he made four. I find that really hard to believe. Most of the bridge hands I see are in books or magazines where, of course, uh, South is always the declarer. Board number 18. Three no Trump has been bid and made by uh, Prasaj Hilaria in the closed room. It's an absolute pet hate of mine that bridge writers who put rotated for the reader's convenience on three quarters of the hands. Everyone in the world interested in bridge knows that Declare is always going to be south, so what a total waste of time to put that. You're not even saying who was sitting south, you're just saying it wasn't south actually who was the original Declarer, but I'm not going to tell you who it was. Yes, 
And the term you usually hear is rotated for convenience. One person must have done that about 40 years ago, and so many people have copied it ever since. There was a book, I won't say which one, that had uh, something like 200 deals in it, historical deals that had actually happened, and about 150 examples of rotated for the reader's convenience. I nearly threw the book out of the window. Now this is a very strong result for you, Tilly. I mean, it's not obvious to get to 3 no Trump, is it? Not at all. 8 of the set 14. The bidding started the same way, but West bid uh, a second no Trump on his really chunky 14 count, and then East went to 3 no Trumps. Okay, two spades, two hearts, and a club. Yeah, but three spades. Sorry, three spades, two hearts, and a club. Yes, we have Lauria and Versace playing for Italy in the other room. There's Samantha Dubois setting out. But what will that encourage? Two no trumps from east, or a pass? And Van Proyen and Fahes on north south for the Netherlands in the other room which means that Muller and the vice are sitting out we saw some auctions like this yesterday where there was a, a reopening double and a player had what looked like a pretty promising trump holding sitting over to Clara and really the general uh, message we got from them that is when partners made a takeout double you have to think very carefully about uh, leaving it in on one of the hands we saw the double was left in when declarer held king jack 10 over a two club, natural two club opener and 870 was made for an over trick in three clubs doubled on the other one declarer had king queen jack x of hearts over the strong hand and uh, judged to bid no trumps rather than to pass it out, fully aware of the risk of converting such protective doubles into penalty doubles. Absolutely correct, David. Okay. He even had 4-4 four, four in the red suits, so he had two to choose from and decided to pass. Or east west not to set up a dime dummy. If they don't, Declara will lose a Having said that, Driver has decided to pass. We can see there are three trump tricks and a couple of clubs, but the uh, ace and king of diamonds are going to be unproductive. A club trick would give them one down, though, and that would be uh, 200. They'd probably be happy with that on what they think is a part score deal. You, m you may argue that Driver is a bit lucky uh, the partner has the king of spades. That would be unusual. On the other hand, if he didn't have the king of spades, he would have had a card somewhere else. The eight of hearts, for instance. to make this it'll be 15 imps to Italy to take the lead there's no reason to uh, expect there to be a roughing value in the dummy nevertheless it's often uh, right to lead a trump just in case there is there was a hand I remember from the England Indonesia game where our young pair uh, Stockdale and Brown doubled two clubs and then doubled two spades and uh, they led a trump from ace to three, and Dummy did indeed have two trumps and a double and heart, so there was a roughing value in the Dummy, which they managed to prevent. Note that Declare has played the two of spades out of his hand. If he's done that, then he is going to go down. So Declare can actually make this. Yes, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Yes. Okay. So, second chance here for... But perhaps not for playing a spade now. Uh, just hang on here. The 
can shorten him. No, they switched. Now the thing is, with Hearts being 3-3, three, three, I think he could have made it by ducking a heart. Or if he had played Ace of Hearts and another, won't the 13th heart and dummy have been set up for a pitch with the King of Clubs as an entry? I think so. He could have made it. Which goes to show that it was wrong again to leave the double in. They needed to lead a club which is very, very difficult. Well, maybe it isn't. Partner opened them. And he has a real club suit now after his takeout double. Take the club lead actually to defeat it for sure because then Declaro will lose his entry to the 13th heart prematurely. Declara surely knows that trumps are 4-1 so it's a bit mysterious, he mysterious that he's continued to draw them rather than make some move towards possibly saving his club loser. I must say uh, I'm more than mildly surprised that Bucky did this. Everybody likes trumps. And it's clear he's waiting for another signal. Yeah, he's waiting for Declare to pitch a wrong card from Dummy again. Well, eventually, if, if he catches enough spades, then maybe West will throw away all his clubs? I don't think so. You don't think so? Unlike so, this reduced the gain for Italy from 14 to 5 imps. It would have gained 14 if you had made two spades doubled. And now they will only gain 5 because he will lose 200 points. Subtracted from the 400 in the other room. Having said that leaving in the double was a bit risky, we must also say that the double itself was a little bit uh, borderline with the single king lying under the two spade bed and uh, not that much outside. Forcing his partner to go to the three level, it could have been right and they do like to contest part scores but it wasn't uh, that obvious. That's true. Uh, David, but we also have to bear in mind what we both uh, emphasized a few times, that when you double part scores, that will give the opponent a game bonus uh, if they make, you have to be pretty certain that you can defeat the contract by two tricks because then there is a margin for error of judgment. Yeah, the trouble is though that, I mean, if he's, to, it, he's going to guess uh, to bid a red suit, I mean, his partner might be 1-4, 3-4, and then he suddenly he'd be playing in three diamonds, could be a 4-3 fit at the three level. So uh, that might be a pretty awful spot, particularly if uh, two spades would have gone down a trick. So it's not just a question of deciding uh, on the hand we saw yesterday, then the player who left in three clubs double had an easy bit of three hearts. But if you haven't got an obvious uh, fit somewhere, maybe you think it's the better of the two risks to pass it out for penalties. Just going back to that T Onstein, it's Ton Baccarins, Frank Baccarins, <coughs> Hoop Burtons and Barry Westra. Yes, I thought you were. Yeah, yeah. 27 uh, minutes ago. I understand that, but I'd like to <laughs> check you. I'd just like to check okay. you. Okay, <laughs> sorry.
nail-biting semi-finals. One of the reasons that East has cashed his trumps here is that he doesn't want to be uh, thrown in time and again in trumps and have to keep on making new plays in the side suits. It just gets rid of the high high trumps and then uh, exits once and lets De Clara do his own work. So, Theo and Jan, do you regard De Clara not playing on hearts as a technical error? Yes. Yep, I agree with that. Well, yes, certainly looking at all cards. No, looking the true at your own cards. What else? Technically, we're not yeah. talking about double dummy. I don't think it's that double dummy is the issue. Maybe he never believed in hearts 3-3 three, three due to the reopening double by uh, short Brink. But what's the downside? Well, he knows that Brink's it's not got much against it, sure. But he knows that Brink's only got one spade, so there is something in favour of 3-3 three, three hearts. Well, Brink could have a 4-4-4-1. Four, 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 yes, he could have had that, but what's the downside of playing a But if he then? has a 4-4-4-1, four, 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 then... No. If De Clare had gone for the line of play that Roland mentioned, trying to set up a heart trick, he wouldn't have been able to draw trumps first, but that didn't matter at all because he was going to lose three trump tricks anyway. He's perfectly happy to lead the 13th heart, ditch a club loser, and East would then have to rough which with a trump that was a trick anyway. Undoubled anywhere, but they picked up seven imps for their troubles without doubling, so... A leading 11 nil, so they're just starting to ease away a little bit. 12 and a half in front. As long as Brink doesn't drop a clop, another clop, uh, everything should be okay for the defence. Ah, short Brink did play the right card. Sorry, was there ever any doubt? I'm pretty sure that Bucky could kick himself after this, perhaps right. even no, now, when he realises what he has done. He doesn't know, of course, that Hearts are 3-3 three, three yet, fact, to be honest with you, the five but he will find out. Really does clarify the whole hand for the defence. Well, he, m he may not need to do that, Roland, because uh, it's quite likely that uh, Madala will do it for him. Yeah, but then he has to stand up and move, because you, as you know, you can't kick your partner under the table playing with screens. Two diamonds and a club. Oh, West can pitch two diamonds and a heart, so there is yep. not a real danger or a real problem. So no Dutch squeeze for Norbeto, because now everybody knows he has a void in diamonds. Spectator suggests a squeeze. I can't see any squeeze working. I've been wrong before, but I can't see where that squeeze should come from. He says, well, that's the way can destroy two diamonds, so that there is no squeeze. Is there any lie of the cards? Anyway, West is surely going to play a club next, so it'll all be broken up way before De Clara had any chance to do that. So is Bocchi considering not roughing? Bocchi may the Italian tap-in commentator is talking about a double squeeze with West guarding the clubs, East guarding the diamonds, and uh, no one guarding the hearts. But that would require the ace of hearts to still be intact, and uh, it's just never going to happen. And they in the clubs as hearts. Could he then 
cashed. Yeah, cashed yeah. a couple of clubs. And mm. <coughs> As a spectator, right to point out, there had been, would have been a squeeze if, uh, if Brink had four hearts and, and five clubs. But he doesn't. Doesn't work. Uh, I mean, rectifying the count, as another spectator suggests, won't work. Or else. Suppose he plays a heart. Yeah, that's okay. But I think the club is. Uh, I think you'll play the Queen of Clubs to clarify the position. Looks well, West can ball. play a club for all. He can play a heart, as long as he doesn't play a diamond. And set up the jack. Then everything's fine. Because then there would be a double squeeze, as I see it, if he had returned a diamond. On every board from the closed room because. They are probably three boards ahead of us at the moment. Well, then Declare could just yes. ditch two losers. Now, the other semi final is, well, virtually over because USA 2 have now added 20 amps to their total and they are up by 82 amps with 13 boards to go. Trump in the hope that somebody does something silly. Um, in the Venice Cup, Indonesia have added 10 imps to their total. So they are up by 11, I think. Let me just check. Declare would love to score the use of clubs in the very last trick where it had been open at trick. Yes, 11.5, but that's just one vulnerable game swing, so anything can happen that much. 15 is only getting minus 5. The Netherlands are still alive. They would have been alive. But still, with England having a 40 in lead at one stage, the momentum is very much with Indonesia. And they're backed by the thought that they did the same uh, late steamroller effect all over USA 2 in the quarterfinal. So they know how to come from behind, and they won that quarterfinal by 30 imps. They only had a combined 22 count, take 200, or even maybe 500 on a good day. Little did they know about. Should also mention that USA 1 in the seniors conceded. Before the last segment against USA 2, they were down by around 80 imps. Timely in five hearts. South past West has opened the bidding with a. Can't quite see it. A club. Bocky's past. So one club double. Can Bucky find a response? I don't think so. So what is Driver going to do? Two clubs, perhaps? Can't be certain what the strain should be here. Could be hearts. Could be no trump. Sorry. I missed. But no, the South didn't open, of course. Three diamonds for some sort of heart showing fit. Seems it was pushing it a bit for the Italians to get all the way up to five hearts on these values. Contract that uh, could have gone down if the cards had lain badly. And anyway, they've escaped to live another day. I expect two spades here to be a relay in case partner has supported with three cards. It does happen. So two spades relay, now ask partner to describe his hand, and four hearts shows a maximum for his two heart raise and four cut support. the wrong club against five hearts. He should have left a low club. 
so a better sequence than the Italian sequence, but it won't be rewarded because they did manage to uh, squeak home at the 11 trick level. Lead low from Queen 10 to 4 and declare a thinking it underled the ace, put up the king from dummy and paid the price. Anyway, no risk here. Risk may be of an imp at most. And yes, was a bit lucky. Norse could never get in to give him a club guess, and clubs could go away uh, on the diamonds eventually. So he didn't have to guess them. Hearts were an R3-2, which also helps in five hearts, that is. Well, I suppose we should say it would have been rather unlucky to go down in five hearts, but uh, still surprising that uh, they got up that high. And as we see, West was declarer in the other room, so yes, North could have put declarer to the test by underleading his ace of clubs. But why would he? He doesn't have the hand records. No, he actually led the ace of clubs. I think they're discussing what dinner plans they have tonight. Under leading an ace is always a tricky business and usually only worthwhile when the hand over you has, for example, opens a strong no trump. So you're expecting the king to be in dummy and you hope that either the jack will be in dummy or declarer will have the jack giving him a guess. When you do underlead an ace, it's important to lead your lowest card so that your partner knows what to do with the queen. He knows that you have under that you've got an honour in the way that most Europeans lead if you lead a low card. And if King Jack goes down in the dummy, I mean sometimes he might not put the queen up if he thinks you would never underlead an ace. So you alert him to this by leading your lowest spot card. Spectator tells me so far it's been right to underlead the eight of clubs, uh, so I think I'll start to do it more often. Well, let, you must let us all know how you get on, Roland. Are you going to teach all your students in London to do that? Never, never, ever. So North had a trump, and but some do regardless, Sorry, you know. South North had a trump, but most grabbed the. Well, I saw it on view graph. So, so when Bucky or Madala or whoever can do it, why can't I? And what am I going to tell them then? Yeah, I know you like trump leads, sir. Something like do as I say not as I do. It's funny that the players at the local club who make all the same plays that Zia makes usually come about 17th. Let's see if he keeps the seven of diamonds. So far he follows with the six. Careful play. Yeah, here's a suggestion I like very much. I can tell them that the w when they can play as well as Madala and Bucky, then they can do it. If South plays back a club, then there is a quick claim. Put a diamond back in. A bit inconvenient. Well, Declare has several options. One of one of them is a loser on loser play in spades, but due to the fact that South has a trump, he has um, there's a clue that the King of Spades is is in South. 
but the Trump lead might indicate the possession of the Ace of Clubs. I believe I had a deadline of today to submit my article on uh, the English women's performance in the Venice Cup to the magazine uh, English Bridge. Of course, I haven't been able to uh, complete writing it yet because England was still battling on and I was uh, first of all praying for them to do well and then expecting them to do well and reach the final when they were 40 up in the semi-final. But it's beginning to look every time I click on the current score they've lost another imp or two and of course they're only about 13, 14 behind but all the everything suggests that it won't have a happy ending unfortunately. I think that's a bit premature, David. How many boards did they play for? They only really need a vulnerable game swing and one one part score swings. Or just one slam swing. It's just a question of what the Americans call momentum in their elections when you've been 40 up and the other side are then 13 up it just seems to make it more difficult to play perfect bridge anyway we'll hope for the best or maybe a bit of luck can rescue them yes but that deadline will still be a problem for you because they are going to play for a medal no matter what have the job of getting coffee for our three uh I suppose that the bronze medal also counts. This is not very exciting for us. Absolutely, yeah. No, I, people say what a waste of time playing a bronze medal match, but the difference between getting a medal and not, I mean, that's that's worth a bit, surely. But they'll have pretty tough opponents in that match. And that's probably why they don't last that long as your girlfriends. <laughs> yeah, but you can't expect anything else. I mean, you are in the semi-finals the world championship so any opponent would be a strong one so the clear has got for sure five heart tricks and four diamond tricks in the ace of spades correct yep. and if he picks a club he can make one more for his troubles or he can try a rough so spade this takes a while for Madonna to figure out if he can beat the hand whereas in five if say you had a received a diamond lead from north it would have been not easy or a normal low club lead now instead of the ace of clubs the normal singleton might be yeah it's it's in fact a bit of a conspiracy There's no real the good play here for Nadala he won't lead another diamond I don't think probably spade return to singleton ace one diamond didn't get anything over three diamonds. No lead directors there. So para match on two eighteen it looks like. My eyesight's terrible for that. Two sixteen. Okay, well it's gonna come up on yeah. the screen now on the left. The green's a bit easier for me. So far the transnationals is good news for the sponsors. On stand the um, the Bridge Club of Hans Melchers, who is the big sponsor of this event. Castle on and, uh, You know, as a partner, can't have enough for this to have so any chance of going down. I think it is uh, the club is very fair, 10 or 11 picks. Yes, so perhaps he can just exit passively. Sergio Paulus is, um, is is a very um, well-known player in the Netherlands, but so far he didn't play that much uh, outside the Netherlands. But it's changing nowadays. You can find him uh, in the American uh, pro circuit. Yes, the player has uh, five hundred tricks, uh, four diamonds, and one spade. So uh, it's up to the club, uh, club guests. Done very well to make eleven tricks. Oh, if win the. If he keeps the diamonds a single he win Okay, the so yeah. now it's finally over. Ah. Declare, play the club or 
Circuit. No, it's South Play the Club. South Play the Club. Andy Clarex and Clay Moore. And Will. And look at the joy on Shirt's bright face. Board 20. Three now Trump played by South. Look for Hayes. And made his contract after the week of the Ten of Hearts, which is King of Fork. Is that really necessary? Let's suppose I don't lead a heart and I lead. Well, you can pick your own lead. Four club tricks. At the other table, South opened a club on this board. Westover called three hearts. Almost Negative double Boston from uh, North on a said USA on a past hand. So yeah, West had passed his uh, cards at his first opportunity, and uh, the opener rebid three no trumps. Do they play a strong club system? That's a pretty thin negative double otherwise. And yes, they do. Look for Hayes did a good and Florian and for Hayes play a strong club system yeah. with cannot take opening. So you open a shorter suit before a longer. Well, he has a 19 count for two heart stoppers. Yes, he wasn't a big like risk to have out correct there. Right side I think I'm prepared to declare USA 2 80 imps ahead of USA 1 with nine boards to go as the winners of that match. So whoever wins here will win. Yes, declare USA won the heart lead, played the king of diamonds, and a heart came back. Hearts were cleared, and then the queen of clubs fell very early. To make it. Young team playing a younger team would be interesting. That will be the youngest finals ever, then. By a factor, I would think. So, is two clubs the systemic uh, opening again here, uh, David? With wow. 19 balanced? About, uh, I, I believe so, yes, yes, that's right. Same as we. It's amazing how often these bids come up, isn't it? What? Yeah, sure, it brings. Only the two hearts where Versace with three you, hearts. Have you had a look at the board? It's got these little red bars on them. It's called vulnerable. Two and the payment distribution on the West. Times an 18 19 balance count. Well, I'm funny. If they got 18 19, you know what I mean? That hand, I'm not going to jump around too much. No. Three clubs alerted by Bocky. Probably yes, I've had a message asking me to explain to people why both West players did not open three hearts. Well, I mean, if you look in the textbooks, they say that you shouldn't open three hearts with four cards in the other major. And this is a guideline that we've seen uh, flouted time and time again during the championships. But on this occasion, both Wests have decided that they, uh, they will follow it. Any sort of preemptive opening is a complete gamble one way or the other. You're just sort of, uh, it's like rolling a dice in a way. They can work out well. If the other side have the cards, usually they can work out poorly if your partner's strong, particularly if there's a fit for spades. So really, they followed a classical path in uh, deciding not to open on that hand. I have to say here that three clubs is a chancellor, kind of. It, well, it shows diamonds. That's what I'm saying. It's doubling clubs. It's not showing diamonds. Uh, two no trump okay, available so to show clubs. I would say that uh, Brink has been well and truly turned off the uh, heart rate. At the other table, Declare also needed uh, two tricks in spades. He had four in clubs when the queen fell. One in diamonds is five. Two hearts on the lead is seven, and the spade finesse gave him nine. The only bet I'm prepared to make seriously is that he won't lead a heart. What happens if Brink finds the lead of his singles and diamond. He probably won't now that Norse has shown at least five of them. It's not so easy to play. You don't know that the Queen of Clubs will drop. Well, it's easy for you to say that he has three spades, four clubs, and two uh, tricks in the red suit. But Declara doesn't know he has four club tricks. Yes, I was going to just say he's beaten me to it, but if he's not going to lead a heart, then the spade looks a better shot. Leading a singleton is 
is always a terribly wild shot because even if you find partner with a good suit, you can't play it again. Three state tricks, four club tricks on their single side. Score one for Jan First round Van finesse. And he has two red tricks, so four. You can imagine, say, if East had the uh, ace of spades, he might be able to win and uh, set up the hearts with a lead through and um, something good might That's come of it, but in that case it's quite likely Declare would have a fair number of tricks in the minors. I'd say this is amongst the closest finals I've seen. We've got 1.7 I'm just saying, David, that uh, you should avoid having a full card uh, stay beside, uh, beside your uh, heart suit to uh, prevent the three hearts. I also think a three card stay is uh, yeah, a little, also too much. I've, I've heard players say that, yes, but it's a sort of pet hate of mine, people who have a long list of excuses for not preempting. And uh, I've lost so many swings over the last 40 years or so because we've been preempted against and my teammates have said, well, I couldn't open three hearts because I had uh, three spades to the king. So my advice basically is to preempt as often as, as you can, and I wouldn't regard three cards in the other major as a barrier to that. Of course it may work out unluckily on some hands, but best to get your bid in there and let the opponents do the worrying. I mean, that's not forbidden, but uh, I prefer not to have a three card suit, but uh, if a hand looks like a uh, preemptive, I, I use it. No, that's the only danger. Also, first hand is such a good position for a preempt because you can only preempt one partner but two opponents. That said, I think there's a pretty simple end play on uh, on West. If uh, you play a club, pull the diamond to the king, and then play. The when I first started to play bridge, which is. Uh, a good number of years ago, everyone was meant to play the rule of 500, which more or less implied that you thought you could make seven tricks when you opened with a vulnerable three bid. Absolute nonsense, of course. I mean, uh, players hardly ever had such a hand, because if they had eight tricks, they were opening with an Akol two bid. So um, the rule of 500 uh, is far too restrictive as far as I see, and the players who use that may go a whole year without opening a vulnerable three bid. Maybe he loses part of his payment for every negative article. And I have heard about the 3 to one rule. Expect partner to have one trick and you are in vulnerable. Spell your name well. Count I'm eight sure tricks and uh, one vulnerable. Sure uh, six tricks. It was more or less a joke. It was well, that's an okay rule. The one, two, three Mason rule. If you don't play Akol two. One of our pair, Stockdale and Brown, had a really bad board on one deal. They had King, Queen, Jack to seven diamonds and a king. And being young players, they found that to be too strong for a three bid. So they opened uh, with a one bid, and partner carried it to three no trumps on a 12 count, and they were doubled and went 500 off. So. All the sort of uh, old fogies, including me, were sort of shaking their heads and saying, oh, obvious three diamond bid, you know, we wouldn't have gone for 500. But maybe we don't know uh, what we're talking about and we're old fashioned. Uh, from Manchester City, you mentioned? No, no, no. <laughs> so, club to the nine local. And we wouldn't make it to the England ladies team anyway, David. I play, play a little bit different when I have a preempt in a minor and a, or a major in first or second uh, seat. With a hand pass partner, I want to have a better uh, minor suit uh, when, uh, after every when prevent. I'm told that Gru did open three hearts and Justin raised to four on this deal. 
And certainly I think I would have opened three hearts despite having four cards outside. Of course it can turn out unluckily, but it can also turn out pretty well, so you shouldn't always look on the downside. Scary when he takes the line that I said. Probably he knows. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really scary. Uh, 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 this, this must clearly be the play that explains his exactly well play. But I think now he right. has good your own hand, and he is pretty sure that West um, has a 4 7 1 1. Now, note that he needs to take the spade finesse after he wins the King of Diamonds because what happens is he needs to make sure he finishes up in his hand. It didn't even cost so them much, did they? He's got to take the spade finesse. Queen, King, Ace or Queen, Duck, low, spade to the Ace. How much did he lose? 800? There's no real risk. That's not, the most the not a disaster when your opponents can make a vulnerable game. tricks but in most of the you can't go down and when he cashes a third spade and he knows West got four spades and because if seven hearts, he's partner Lal had passed three hearts South would be three hand, no trumps driver could just rise ace of diamonds and play a heart through and that'll be an easy ten tricks also yes well it was still a view to a bit of fourth heart on the east cards so uh, it wouldn't necessarily be the fault of the preemptor. Oh, you mean that he had spades, yes, and East was expecting there to be a big spade fit the other way. Yeah, that's note, true. Note to self, if ever I'm on view graph, have a manicure before I play. On 70... One place we see a, a well-known name, Hanlon. Let's see, look who is on that team. Team Hanlon in seventy-first. Yeah, I know that that is Tom Hanlon in seventy-first place. So he snuck through that diamond to the king. I'm guessing the jack of spades will be the next card he'll play. This is a small oh. example of an avoidance so play, really. East is the danger hand, hand who can lead through the ace queen of hearts into uh, West's two heart bids. So Declare is leading the two of diamonds through him. He can't stop East gaining the lead, but if he goes up with the ace of diamonds, he'll pay a heavy price setting up two tricks for the king and the queen of diamonds. What position? Uh, they are in uh, table one, two, three, four, I think, figures. Let's see. By stripping out West's diamond, he Although opens the path to possibly throw West on lead later to lead into the Ace Queen of Hearts. This is where you want the electric shock on the chair, P.O., where we can press a button and it says it doesn't matter what you play. King Ace. Now it doesn't matter which order he cashes out in, he'll finish up in his hand and play the last spade, I think. Club to the ten, or king of clubs unblocking the ten, either or, take your pick, exit with the spade. Oops, what's happened here? He's played the six of diamonds. Did he exit with a diamond? I don't believe so. Right. He did, and the Jack of Hearts has come through, and he can still make his over trick. Two clubs exiting a spade, and I guess that's what he's claimed. 
Well, he should have. No, he couldn't cash the diamond. He no, he cashes the diamond, then yeah. it's all over the other way for naming the poison. So he was pretty safe doing it that way. That would that covers four uh, six four two one. Yep. Sorry, four six two one. Yep. Well, Dakota can make an over trick here. Well Cashes clubs and exit very with a spade. And West will have to give him a trick in hearts. And it seemed to happen. Yes, it was very well played. He couldn't be sure that West didn't have another diamond, so he led a diamond just to make sure of stripping that out before he threw West on lead to give him a second heart trick. He could afford a heart lead through the ace-queen X, as we saw, because he could rise with the ace and still have time to exit with a spade. That was well done. That said, the only seeming losers for De Quera are a spade, a heart, and two diamonds. Two, two spades here, a cubit of the opponent's suit, is normally used as a race for partner's suit these three cards support and at least invitational values three cards yes otherwise you might have an alternative right. method that we've seen quite a lot and i certainly saw uh, earlier today is that you use transfers after an overcall so west has the option of showing a very weak race to two hearts by bidding two hearts directly or bidding two diamonds which is a transfer to two hearts to show a sound raise to two hearts. I'm guessing that West will complete with three hearts now, perhaps? No, if they played that method, then I think they would just bid two diamonds on the West cards, because two spades is overstating that a bit with only three card support and uh, a nine count, albeit there's a roughing value and two aces. Okay, so it was the King of spades. Jack of spades, the uh, king of spades with the jack dropped, and a heart here would be a good lead. And it's pretty safe anyway when you have the king third. So what happened here was that the clearer didn't get his spade rough. I think is what happened. Didn't take. Didn't take. Didn't get it because he didn't play for it. He did. Sorry, can we see that again, Kiko? It's absolutely amazing that two teams can play for two days and there's just uh, three inches between them, 160 to 157. Yeah, now I missed that South uh, is on lead. Well, commentators can also get tired. No, no, just the players. Okay, thanks for that. Well, you have to explain to me. Still, he drew. Was it yesterday that you had your world record of five sessions of voice commentary, Roland, or the day before? It went spade, king, hold. It was the day before. It was uh, Monday? Yes, five. Tomorrow we'll have four. Because after the three segments of the finals, we'll be showing one quarter final from the transnationals. To his partner's ace, his partner didn't even duck it, and he gave him a rough with the nine of hearts. So he ended up losing effectively three diamonds, a heart, and a spade. Okay, back to the real world. Queen of spades, ducks. So we've got the same play here. So what went wrong? Wrong in that room was that. In a sense, Loria should have roughed a spade and just yeah. played ace another heart and hoped that he could bring the diamonds home or hook the heart afterwards. Well, the England team is only 11 and a half behind now, so it's just as well I'm not having to suffer watching that. I guess he played for... Unless I took a, a double dose of heart pills, which I'm not supposed to do, probably. I'm going to make a small prediction. I'm going to predict that he makes this, scores five imps for his trouble, and we will see Netherlands 2.3 in the lead. Okay, club switch Let's looks see. completely the normal thing to do. And the same as the closed room, in fact. So we're now at the same point they were in the closed room. 
two of hearts to the ten. It's not going to be quite. The Did same. it really take a chump lead to defeat this? Might have. I haven't looked at the play in the other room. Did it get a trump lead? No, uh, exactly not the same play uh, as here, but uh, uh, he didn't cover the jack of diamonds, so they took a diamond off. So basically what has to happen is that when the queen of diamonds comes through, you have to cover it. Oh, I see. So we've been talking about where Monaco Z is running. Maybe we and yes, that is the key moment here when Queen of Diamonds comes through. Well, it's much more likely that the Queen of Diamonds is from Queen Jack 1 than it's from Queen Jack Bear. So looks like De Clara played it right. Queen Jack 8 and Queen Jack 3 are two combinations compared with Queen Jack Bear. And if North does have three diamonds, then by ducking the first one, the leader will be left with uh, the ace in the south hand. And I think he'll put the king up now because he's got. Well, the thing is, if you're going to play North to hold. Yeah, but we'll, came to, we'll come to the same issue in a minute. Crossroad five inch plates. When declare a place of diamond. Is there any clues? North made a take out double. And I think it'll be a bit easier for him because it's just automatic kind of to to, to cover this, isn't it? Well automatic I mean he would normally do that. It's not normally regarded as good style to uh, lead a card from dummy and then sit and think what to do from hand because you can give information away to the defenders. If, for example, Declarer had King Doubleton, he probably would always try the king now so they can all guess that he's got king to three and uh, even if it hasn't given that much information away, you should really think what you're going to do before you lead from the dummy. Jack of Diamonds Same is going to come it. through. He's going to duck that too, unfortunately, but that's not going to help him. No. Completely. Well, great man. I don't think. I don't think he's think done anything alike. wrong. I don't think he's done anything wrong here. No, great man think alike. Now we're on the on the horizon. But five imps have blown out window. Yeah. Three of diamonds. Yeah. Back, it's so fairly so unlikely that North would cover holding any one of so the Queen and Jack. Potential. So when the ten is covered, Declarer can guess that he does hold both the Queen and the Jack, and uh, he's got the same apparent two to one odds in favour of playing for North to have Queen Jack one rather than Queen Jack bear. Another aspect is that if uh, North has only. Uh, uh, Queen or Jack double on the reserve, diamond rough, so he should cover, in my opinion. I don't want to be a stickler, but it's only 13 and a half, and we hope that doesn't make a difference. They looked very relaxed just before they started to, to play the, this last session. 422, 3 now Trump minus 1, played by. So, nothing's decided yet. Still have that 3 imp. Difference. Well, it is actually 2.7. France have taken the lead by 4.3 by outscoring Poland 19-2 this set. So, the in the event of a tie, the Netherlands will go through. The Venice Cup. Not exactly a result where the Netherlands were hoping for. Okay, so a club, a spade. I'm guessing a no trump. I didn't, wasn't watching. But mm. here again, you can see you have 
seven, eight, nine, ten, opposite uh, 14. That's 24. That's one too many. Yeah. This is a rather pushy uh, three note trumps. I'm assuming the clapping at the back means you think. Of course, Mackerel, no Mackerel <coughs> would be proud to be so. in it. The combined 24 counts. It's, it's me proof. There seems to be all 23 counts. So perhaps will it will happen here three. too yes. now. Okay, so let's be practical. So On this lead, he will make three diamonds, three Could hearts, change the lead, spades. couldn't it? Can make another spade trick. I think he'll make. I just clicked through the play. Pick up six imps for the Netherlands and put them three point three in front. I just clicked through the play at the I'll other table. The there was a a heart lead. And Declarer eventually took dialogue. two diamonds. Really he unblocked the heart six, at trick two, three. somewhat surprisingly. Anyway, eventually took two diamond finesses and they both lost. And there's there's nothing, there's nothing he ducked a spade two and when South got in he switched to uh, a club through the king. And uh, Declarer was down when the second diamond finesse lost. Because you've got to think to yourself, I could have done something better. This looks like making at least eight tricks. And if it does, we will have a new leader. 120 plus 100, six imps. Really interesting part of this match is that I know it's a lot more boards, but they've turned over 45 imps in one match. No difference if he makes three, same six imps. Indonesia picked up another six imps on this to start moving away. They're now ahead by 13 and a half. So Netherlands would be kind of happy if it was Indonesia, Netherlands in the ladies and Netherlands in the open. They'd have some equity in the event. Spade lead. Declara can happily duck that. I'm asked if we have any comment on the fact that Loria and Versace are playing all three sessions today. By the way, mm, I certainly uh, can't tell why, so but they are regarded as as the best pair uh, in the team, although they're more or less equals. But I think David said something about that in the beginning. that Loria Versace played extremely well uh, earlier today. On some website I saw uh, Bocci being interviewed about how strong he rated this Italian team and he said he thought it was one of the strongest teams that he'd been in because they had three very good pairs and uh, no particular weak link. That was one reason. The other was that all the three pairs were very friendly and uh, happy to be teammates. I don't know if that was any hidden barb about people who weren't in the team that they were <laughs> a bit less friendly with. I wouldn't know. Oh, we didn't see that. Forty-five for us. Jack of clubs has come through, and Declara could now. No, I don't think so. I mean, the fourth pair in contention was, of course, um, from Tunis. And they're very nice people. Hello, folks. Ten tricks, one eighty seven imps. Yeah, I would. And we have a four point three lead to the Netherlands. They weren't in contention for this championship, were they? They're pre presumably building up qualification for Monaco. Well, yes, but when they yeah, when they found out that they wouldn't be selected. Remember that they don't have trials in, in Italy. The team is selected by, well, more or less one person. Madame Lavazza. Is this a cold slam? How is the Monaco C team doing in the transnationals? Not too well. They were below average when play finished last night. 
But I watched an interview with Pierre Zimmerman on BridgeTopics.com and he said that most likely they won't be able to take part in the European Championships next year. They are not eligible. So he was 90% certain that they wouldn't be able to play in the next Bermuda Bowl either because it takes qualification through the European Championships to make it to the Bermuda Bowl. It looks like a good six bait, so isn't it? Let me tell you that if West should happen to transfer, there's no doubt they will get to slam. But you wouldn't no, transfer. He has transferred. If three hearts are transfer, no. still. Yes, absolutely. If you look at the losers in the hand with the long trumps, the West hand, you would see that you had two heart losers that you needed to get rid of as you were certain to lose the ace of spades. So one can be roughed and one can be dis discarded on the third club winner. As easy a spade slam as you could wish to be in. Having another shot with ice kicking. Yes. Yeah. So there is some pressure on short and break. East making a super accept now. Cubiting four very clubs. So four card support for spades. And the smell slam they did it. So okay. if West can cooperate okay. with four hearts now, Probably they may get that. May come to thought that um, the previous board he missed game. In fact, he won five inches. I don't know exactly how many points to no Trumps shows. Uh, Roland has the card, but so you get the feeling that maybe West would need quite a bit of pushing to look for a slam. But after he's heard four clubs, he doesn't show a, a giant hand by Q bidding four hearts, showing the ace or king. Uh, he's bid four diamonds, so uh, the meaning of that is not at all clear. Two no Trump shows 21 to 23. So that's why West is interested. They, wait a minute, they play optional Blackwoods. Now West might be well, five a, clubs. He has a bidding card out. He's bid five diamonds. He bid five diamonds. Oh. So. Yes, there's a good point made in the uh, private message to me that four hearts might not be a cubid because since he's broke the transfer, four hearts would be used as a re-transfer bid, telling a partner that West had no ambitions beyond game and just wanted to play in four spades from the safer east seat. So in that case, the cubid of four hearts is not open to him, and four diamonds is uh, the only bid he can make to say that he is still interested in the slam. Anybody also known as Last Train. Slam, it was Brink and Driver. Though the old guys, France against Poland, both did it. You're right. Normally, the Last Train the bid is the bid just below uh, game the in the last available side suit because you don't have any Q bid that you can make. Here, because uh, Four Hearts has this retransfer like meaning, Roland's right that Four Diamonds is. Almost certainly the last train bid. For seven. No, no, he's not heading for seven. He knows he's asking for the queen. Without the queen, he'll stop in five. Uh, 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 uh. Will Schurz Brink? So, oh, looks the like they're getting there. Queen. That's the next question. With the king of hearts. Looks like West has shown no key cards and uh, East is saying yes, but have you got the Queen so of Trumps? Denies. Five not Trump shows a Queen without a King, so he has to bid six hearts. Heart, King, and the Queen. Just imagine East has the Ace of Spades and the King, and move that Diamond King over to the Ace. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. King of Hearts, Spades Queen of Spades. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please contain yourself. He could revoke. Okay. Six hearts means yes, I do have the Queen of Trumps, and it names the side suit king, his lowest side suit king. So he's showing with just one bid the very, Queen of Trumps and the King of Hearts. So we can say that's very well bid.
he's a real warrior. I'd have to say to you that uh, I don't know what Brink's thoughts were on this hand. If he was going to transfer, not only that, the slam wasn't bid at the other table, which is uh, hugely good news for the Netherlands. So he's, I think he's been a bit lucky. Swap the hearts and the spades around, and he, uh, yeah, the four cut make it four hearts and two spades, and it would have been a slightly different story. Seems that Brink is a little bit ashamed of his dummy. He ran away to the bathroom. The bus driver, if the sight of the dummy isn't unhappy at all, running to the bathroom is what you call a two. The same two no trump yes. opening, oh, but West with three clubs, I see, to I ask for a fit in either major. And then they stopped Space in four spades, down. so that was probably a good decision to begin with three hearts. <laughs> As somebody said, going to the bathroom promises a queen of clubs. <laughs> All right, contain your enthusiasm, people. It's not I play, I can bid uh, three spades on West, showing you five spades and four hearts. The very bad news is that they're going to run into time problems at this rate. They've got ten boards to finish, and then one hour. They'll both be penalised. Yes, yes it's an awkward no shape to show. If you've got um, four spades and five hearts, you can transfer into and hearts and then bid three spades one hour. when partner honours the transfer. Well, here That's it much easier. So we saw do a bit of That's included in my system. Let's so let's 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 short brink a little bit of thinking. Let's not call you impartial. So short bids, call this the, un uh, the unbidable hand uh, uh, with five spades and four hearts. Anyone would like to see an event like this decided by a time penalty? And also, say you play a 2021 20, two no trumps. I think the east hand is too good for that. 28, sorry, 21 high card points, all aces okay, and kings. You think that Netherlands have taken too much time? You've got to upgrade that hand. <laughs> And if we asked the K&R hand evaluator, and I know that David doesn't like that, I'm pretty sure that this hand is worth at least 22, perhaps even 23. I don't know what that hand match. Go on, David. I, would hate to I was going to say, I have no idea what that hand evaluator is, is meant to evaluate because some hands are really wonderful in suit contracts and some are much better for no trumps. Obviously, that's a wonderful hand with all those aces and kings for a suit contract, but it doesn't seem to make much sense to give it uh, just one number before you know if there's going to be a suit fit or not or, or if you'll be playing in no trumps. But I don't think you could say the Italians look very relaxed either despite the matching watch, glasses and hair in white. So is the sole purpose just to decide what opening bid you make on your hands before you know what partner's going to do? Is that it? That's the point, David. With all top treats, it's better for you than for no Trump. The Kaplan and Rubens Hand evaluator says 21.9. So 22. So I was right that they would upgrade the hand. So if you play a 2021 20, two no trumps, you should open two clubs and rebid two no trumps to show 22 23 or 22 24. France, Netherlands, unfortunately. But the bidding after the uh, bid to no Trump would be uh, the same as uh, after to no No, to no Trump opening, is it? Is Indonesia doing it as a second string against England ahead by 14 and a half. And France, Poland is. If my memory is right, Poland would just be up on the board before this, a fair number of imps to make that match 8.7. So the dollar hasn't let yet. We can see it's an easy make and the play will be fast once he has uh, let something. Um, we also know that uh, Netherlands will gain another 13 imps and they will be ahead by 16.
by the way, is there anybody in the audience who can explain the port? What's line? more, it's a fully deserved 13 imps because that was by no means easy to bid. And even if you think that uh, West has been a bit lucky to find such a perfect dummy, you still have to remember that it takes a lot of bravery to, to go for these slams on low values. You're in the last set of an important match in the semi-final of the World Championships. So hats off to anyone who looks at that aceless eight count facing a two-no trump opening and is willing to uh, take a look at a slam. Mr. Zimmerman says no thanks. <laughs> They will be updated in a moment. Thanks, Kiko. What would we do? The EBIT from, a, from a, these four clubs, uh, in my opinion, shows a good paid uh, support and uh, at least a very sharp tune of trap opening. But all 13 cards will lead to the same result. But we have to say okay, that. The east-west pair here, Driver and Brink, uh, had the advantage, uh, you know, of that two no Trump opening shown 21 to 23. So once Driver broke the transfer, I mean Brink was interested. Yes, the cards. The play will be much faster than the lead. We have Paris match three in front. Yes, and he was able to show his interest below the game level, which is something you all should always aim at in your slam bidding. It's not a question of bidding up to game and then sort of sitting there waiting if you should go to the five level to make your try. Always try and arrange your methods so you can make a bid such as East's four clubs here below the game level to say, I'm, in, I'm really keen on a slam here. What do you think? And if your partner isn't at all interested, then you can stop safely in game. Ah, there we go. I don't think it's very sportsmanlike of you to clap the fact that he didn't revoke. Okay, 176.3, there it is, folks. Take a picture, 16.3 in front. Sir Brink for the Why first time in the match is smiling. Now. Look at his face. So, as we've said, a very fine board for the Netherlands and a fully deserved swing. Well done. Well, did he really yeah, play like that? Didn't he didn't try to get to hard traps on, on the hand before catching the king of the He's left a side loser, a heart loser, and a club loser in four uh, hearts. Well, that minor problem with that is that there's no entries to dummy. Well, England made four hearts against Indonesia, duly winning seven M's. Yep. Okay, one club, one heart. Interesting board. We've mentioned more than once in these matches that uh, any margin which is more than the value of a vulnerable game swing becomes quite serious near the end. The margin is now 16 M's, so just one good board is unlikely to pin that back. Similar to when in a rugby match someone is ahead by more than the value of a converted try, the same in American football, you can say they need two plays to catch it up. And that is the situation that Italy find themselves in now. Three no Trump next door wasn't as silly as it looks. I mean, normally you would have six diamond tricks. And you know, Maybe you would often get a hard lead, your seventh Clubs. trick, and then you just need the king of clubs to be Clubs. on side to make. But obviously when diamonds are 4 nil, you will go a few down, and it did go three down. Thing is, can East West make four hearts? Well, if West had enough entries to do all he likes to do, then yes. But how can he play clubs up twice, take a hard finesse? Well, I don't think that he can make four hearts in real life. How's he going to play the hand? Well, he gets a diamond lead roughed. So he has to play ace of hearts and another, right? And the jack of spades is a better player than two. Okay, this is the most number of yeah, I agree, but North can bet that hold. 7 people 
just watching this table. Wait for the days to come. Seems the very least he needs is to make six trump tricks. I'm sure he would try to get to dummy in spades to play on it. But anyway, that, that's a completely unlikely contract, isn't it? Particularly when West uh, is not strong enough to give a single raise in hearts. Here I assume that um, South is playing transfers over the one heart over call and two clubs shows diamonds, a, mess, a method yes. that we've seen uh, in many matches. One spade would have denied spades, double would cover all the spade hands, one no trump be a transfer into clubs, that sort of thing. Our double w way to make uh, four hearts is to rough the lead and then lead the queen of hearts because that would give dummy two entries in the trump suit. In the other semi-final of the Bermuda Bowl, USA 1 against USA 2, neither pair reached that splendid six spades that we just saw uh, the Dutch bid and make here. But Medal is going to push them around a bit more. Three no. Three no. Automatic. I'm I now sure at rink. Does he have a bid or not? No. Double. Oh, come on, folks. Get real. <laughs> well, he is a warrior. We know that. And they love to double. I know you'd like him to double, but please. And he noticed that it was not a fast bit by Madala, but... But he knows nothing about the clubs, so uh, I don't think he'll double. I've got to tell you Sorry about that, lost connection here. He does have to double, I doubt South would be sticking in. I don't know if my so comment came through about leaving the Queen of Hearts from hand. Yes. Now, each could have something to say about that. He's sitting with the king of clubs. No, I don't think so. It's not so. king ten of clubs. A very big I cards. don't think so. That will give dummy two entries to do what you need to do to lead clubs up well, we twice. Don't know. We don't know who hesitated. No. Ah, Bocky's checking. He's looking. At, he's got the right glasses on, and he hasn't got. But he's looking at the right cards. As it is, you only need to lead them once if you advance the jack of clubs. Okay. Well, easy. Because then you can pin south of nine on the second from your hand if you want. It's all double dummy. You won't get to four hearts. I think we can expect here against three no trumps that even though driver knows that the king of hearts is on his right, he may well be willing to give him that card and just hope that his two big black cards will stop Declara being able to run nine tricks before he gets in again. Seems much too risky to uh, risk leading one of the black suits hoping your partner can get in and lead through Declara's king. Might have been different if the opening bid was was three diamonds, but he's no reason to expect a massive number of diamonds in the dummy. Uh, the other table crashed, so we may be close to a new record uh, at this table soon. We are 8,440 uh, at the minute. Yeah, I think it, it must all be due to this winning combination of the uh, three commentators, uh, Roland, myself and Ralph. I'm sure that's the main reason, except, <laughs> except of course, that they're not all listening to us. No, but a fair amount. I think I got a figure from Georgi some time ago. Was it around six, what, 600, 700? I don't know. It was something like that. I missed it, uh, actually, and, and I just lost all data while I w was away. That's pretty bad news for, uh, for 
Gokhi that uh, this card on the diamond? Well, that's a good news. Now he may think that four hearts is okay. This is still very new, the voice thing. I'm sure it will be become increasingly popular. I know the people who are on voice uh, like it uh, very much. I didn't get one complaint and I got lots of appreciative uh, messages. In the closed room, they lost the jacket. Well, that's very kind of them. It's excellent, really, when you think of all the trouble that uh, BBO must have gone through, leaping over all the uh, techno technological hoops to get it working in time. Yes. Uh, I'm told that we had a thousand listeners overall, about 750 here, and 220 in the other room before the crash. Tell you what, if the diamonds broke, I think the clearer was Colby for just end play. The benefit, funnily enough, of playing Ace Another Heart is that it could stop an end play under some circumstances. The clearer has got the Seven of Hearts ready to throw. Uh, 1,000 listeners in this room now. That's pretty That's amazing, I would say. Many so don't know. Go on, David. Sorry. Well, I was just going to the play of this hand. Uh, East did, of course, lead the Queen of Hearts, as we were expecting, hoping that his ace and king would be enough to uh, hold back the tidal waves of Declarer's tricks. And then Declarer had the awful moment as he led a diamond and found that they were breaking 4-0. Notice how he got rid of, um, no, sorry. Well, the play didn't go like this, I mean, <laughs> West was a duck this time. Discouraging, so he'll get a spade through if he leaves Maybe a spade, yeah. It's not the operator's fault, really, um, and that needs an explanation. Now, our operator is in the Vugav Theatre. He is not in the room, the room where the players are. Now, we have one more operator relaying things to the operator in the Vugav Theatre. And things can go wrong from there to there, if you see what I mean. The bidding and the play will be shown on a big screen, so our operator sitting in the Viewgraph Theatre will just copy what he can see on the screen. I think there is a record a number of cabinets at one table at the moment on the video. 8,700 cabinets. This wonderful system by Professor Baldi. Well, you don't need anyone to do anything, but well, I mean, it's not flawless, and we can see that. Tell you in fairness, the other table was closed down and not reopened. Ah, don't, <laughs> don't tell them. Okay. So it's been corrected on the screen that South didn't, of course, play a low diamond, which would cut himself off forever from the dummy. He cashed a third round of uh, diamonds. And now must look for some way to trim his losses on the board after such an unlucky break in diamonds. Indonesia is doing fantastic. Very good for bridge that new countries uh, entering top bridge. So what did he play? Oh, has he just started a heart? Driver has pitched one of his hearts that we can see is a winner, holding on to ace jack one of spades, so he's uncertain uh, of the heart position. His partner may well have given a count signal at trick one, but he can't really be sure what the the three might be a singleton possibly, in which case Declarer would still have a, a heart stopper.
uh, with three boards to go in the women's match between Indonesia and England. Indonesia 11.5 now. So it only takes a slam swing or a vulnerable game swing and just you know, an over trick and some other contract. Eight boards to go. Here, North South play on board 25. Free space from Proje for Hayes. Well, of course, I wanted England to win that, but I can recognise that uh, if Indonesia win instead, that's just such a wonderful result for their country. For them to get all the way into the gold medal match, having never reached the quarterfinals before, will be truly wonderful. Yes, and they will be guaranteed a spot uh, in the next World, World Championships to be held in Bali, Indonesia. Well, I don't know if I agree or not. Uh, I've always said Bucky. Uh, I think it's pronounced Bucky, as if it was two Ks. I know that David doesn't, but I think it's pronounced Bucky in Italian. Well, seeing as you speak half of the world's languages, I will bow to you in all matters on pronunciation. However, I regard myself as the expert in spelling and punctuation. Not that your, uh, your spelling is bad at all, I, I admit. This may lead to four spades by North. Or will he bid for clubs in order to help his partner to make a correct judgment at high level competition? It can also, also be difficult for foreigners to speak space. English properly. Double. I mean, uh, yes, because he has the stiff uh, I'm crashing again, I think. Am I here? Doesn't mean I like to go on. Absolutely fine, yep. Okay. So now in another sequence. So if um, East leads a diamond. So if we get a dull board, uh, David, perhaps you can tell me what is the wisdom of, you know, of just, you, you know, uh, thinking in football terms, uh, along football lines, that one team is pronounced Norwich where the W is mute and another team is pronounced Ipswich where you can hear the W. The advantage of the double is apart from the fact that it probably is going down doubled is that uh, well we don't want to go into it at length while we're watching this exciting final but basically there are no rules in English and that's what makes it uh, one of the most difficult uh, languages to learn, apart from the huge vocabulary, lots of rules are broken and uh, it's just a result of the history over decades. Anyway, South has made an incredibly uh, light raise to two spades on a hand that would be rated as at least 12 losers. Normally you're told to count, say, nine losers in those top suits, 11 in total, and to add another one if you've got no aces. Well, you can add another one for no kings and another one for no queens, and it would come to about 15 losers. So that's amazing, even at this score that he's uh, raised to two spades. But he has found his partner with a, a massive hand, and he'll be very pleased to have uh, heard of the spade support, no doubt. I'm sorry for interrupting you here, David, but I've got to say that we have broken yet another BBO record. 9,140 yes, at a single okay. table. Well done. And now short brink is almost 100% sure that, that it's a stiff diamond. You think? Yes. 
Well, so the um, the Christmas bonus check for everyone working at BBO, that's sort of going up by the minute, isn't it? Thinking is for the gods. East is going to rough and play another high heart. And even if Fickler could try to get an entry with club 10, playing a small, East will win and play another high heart. And there West we go. Uh, being allowed to do this is a reward in itself, in my view. Money isn't an issue for me at all. That's right. Queen of Hearts. Okay, can I tell you the play from a closed room? Yes, he plays the Queen of Hearts. All right. Eight of Hearts lead to the Queen, Diamond to the Ace, Two of Diamonds roughed, Ace of Hearts continuation, and the pair then played Ace of Spades, and another Spade, oh. and the Queen of Diamonds was roughed in Dummy, and the clearer now, whoops, dummy. that table just went down. And I have more statistics for so the department of useless information. We have more than 20, we have 23,000 users online. And that is 0 0.00000328571428271428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571
So I've said many times that really if you're going to lose a match, it is better to lose it by 20 and uh, certainly not less than the value of one board. Looks as if that may be what's going to happen, but of course we've still got more boards left in this match than they have in the Venice Cup semi-final we were talking about. Yes, it's far from over. Only 23 years. With seven boards to go. If we all give Kiko a nice clap... For a start, the Italians need to bid for the slam to stand any chance. England and Indonesia BBO last two tables. So, Kiko, if you could do that, that would be I must say I'm very impressed that Van Kroen and for his uh, bid the slam next door. And of course, Brink and Driver seem to be the only pair who bid their slam, so there's no more sort of, uh, no better way to win a match than by bidding a couple of excellent slams that weren't reached by the opponents. So, six hearts. And one thing is to bid the slam, another is to make it. Clearer. And the brakes are on so, threadly. So and you have the edge of spades on side, uh, yes. The trumps are 4 0. Uh, Diamonds are 4 2. No no. You've got a lot of winners. And, uh, sorry, not many losers, but not many winners either. I would regard this as a particularly. We good can't see the auction at the other table, nor the play on the My Results tab because of some uh, crash, presumably. Yes, because of the crash, the operator just had to insert the final contract manually. So then we don't have an auction. Where even for Sasha did not bid over one on Trump. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the sense. Well, the good start was for Madala to upgrade his hand. Doesn't it show 18, 19? Uh, David, so he must have upgraded to the 17 count. That's right, this is the range where the other Italian pairs choose two diamonds as their opening, and I think we've seen three examples in uh, just in this session, haven't we, where North-South here have had the two club opening. Yes, we have. Yeah, you can imagine Italian uh, fans looking at this and saying, well, that's not much of a slam, you know, fancy bidding that. But of course, you know, to bid a borderline slam does, as I've said before, take fantastic bravery. So even if it is a borderline slam, just to risk everything by bidding it is something that we should admire. But Madala upgraded his hands, apparently, for some reason. Well, he has two sevens. USA 1 and 2 in the other match is finished, all 32 boards scored, and USA 2 advance with a 60 imp lead. Yeah. And the other semi-final between the two USA team is okay. over. Well, they have one board to so play still, but the USA 2 are the up by 60 we all know imps. what this scores, the same 13 imps that scored each time it's happened. Yeah. We are learning in the so this is a result is any, uh, the Italians can't afford. The and they're the going to. Oh, okay. They're going to lose another 30 names and 34 and just six it's boards make, against this strong no, Dutch but team. That That's too much. The I hear that England have lost their match. The they needed uh, a seven inch swing, six behind, we can all see. and Price they're playing in, down. yes, Jack one no trump. Down. Kiko, can we, can we see the, the play, play closed room? room? Yep. Okay, spade to the ace, spade, now club deck. Ace of diamonds, diamond of the king, rough to diamond. A sad moment for them and a wonderful moment Rafter for Indonesia, diamond. but still England did a lot better than everyone expected, so well played to them too. Sure. Yeah. If 
you have roughed the diamond, let's try you, again. The Spade to the ace, club, club switch. Yes. Ace of diamonds. Ace of diamond. diamonds, king of diamonds, and another diamond on which East pitched his four of clubs. Okay. That's tricky. I remember reading that one of the reasons why people enjoy gambling so much is that somehow or other they secretly enjoy the risk of losing. And uh, it is so painful, particularly in big bridge matches, that I think that's one of the reasons that we all love the game so much. The six of hearts. No, spade. A spade. Roughed. And Roughed with the six of and hearts and then he trumps and his diamonds were high. Yeah. Just kept playing diamonds through east. Thank you. So, we can see that was that the close draw making or going down in two diamonds double in the Venice Cup over to the right? On the far screen, that's the last board to be scored. I can't see how Indonesia could lose on that board. Really? There Two we imps go. win. Two imps to Indonesia, and we can declare Indonesia have beaten England in the Venice Cup to make the final of the Venice Cup. Well done. <laughs> make that four imps to Indonesia as the score's just been fixed. Thanks, sad Kiko. News. It's sad news, of course, for England, but it's great news for Indonesia and even better news for World Bridge because we love to have new countries. Yeah. Kiko, thank you very much. Well. If you can put that screen back to what it should be so that I don't get told off. Also very close in the seniors match between Poland yeah, and France. Poland being up by 5.3 imps. Meanwhile, the two Netherlands to go. are running away from Italy with how many boards to go? Five boards to go. Kiko? Kiko, could you put on France-Poland board 32 on that far screen saying we've already seen the board? because that match only has in it... So the last five boards five have given the Netherlands 39 imps against none, and I shouldn't say here have given them, because they've just ripped those uh, imps out of the uh, night air. So well well played to them. And the diamond, after the king of diamonds. Is it a good contract? Is it biddable? I think so. It looks like a pretty dull game. Bring Tiver R very likely to cut the result. One diamond, one spade over call, no... Yes, very well. And one pay two diamonds, two hearts. East may bid two hearts. The Dutch will probably also bid this game. This worries me a little. Maybe he didn't do anything. And is it a typo by by operator? I think by presumably it was East who bid two diamonds on this board. Yeah. Surely he wouldn't pass with that hand. Okay. In the close room on board 32 on the right-hand screen where there's only 5.7 in the match. Uh, three clubs. clubs. Probably a help suit game trial bid. And East will jump to four spades now. Well, in stand he, will go to, he will go to so game at least. Maybe he won't bid four spades just clubs yet. West, it's very likely that Bas Driver will jump to game right away. In standard methods, two diamonds shows at least a sound okay. raise to the two level. It's often uh, covers a stronger hand, indeed some hands where he may wish to bid on even if West signs off. So uh, West must find a rebid other than two spades when he's actually got uh, a fairly splendid hand as he has. Obvious in this case to show his second if suit. Go one down for 200. It'll be three imps to France, and it will be a 2.7 victory to Poland. By the way, the Netherlands in the Venice Cup won six imps back. I don't know it would be different with a four card support or a three card support. Because they did a game where France missed it. Yeah, some players use two no trumps to show a sound four card raise because it's one of the most important things in bidding nowadays. 
to know how many trumps you have. Not only to judge whether to bid games and slams, but to know how high to compete if the auction is uh, competitive. That's what they meant. Then France would go through to the next round. Yeah, you need to beat it too. Heart lead? How's that? On the senior hand over to the right, if you lead a heart. I'm asked how many boards they're going to play in the final. They're going to play 128 in the Bermuda Bow and 96 in the Venice Cup and Senior Bow. So eight segments of 16 boards in the Bermuda Bow, three segments tomorrow, three Friday and two Saturday. And in the other two events, they will oh, finish Friday. In that room, it looked as though they weren't going to make. So Poland have gone minus 50 in one room, and they're going to go down minus two diamonds in the other room, doubled. I suppose is it a shorter distance in the bronze medal match? There's one down in two diamonds. France will go through. It is indeed, yes. They're only playing 80 boards, five segments easy, of 16. Life's tough at the top. <laughs> We know that okay, so it doesn't match with what it's writ what's written on the WPF website, but I can assure you that I'm right and that they are wrong. I had it confirmed early this morning. Unfortunately, the webmaster has taken the day off, so no one can correct it. Wonderful. Well, 80 imps is still a very respectable uh, distance, showing that they are giving uh, some importance to the bronze medal match. A little bit dispiriting for me that England will be in that game and not fighting for the gold, but that's bridge, and we certainly can't deny the well-deserved win by Indonesia, particularly after they had such a stirring win in the quarterfinal. That's a brilliant result for them, and everyone must be very proud of their team back home. Yes. I'd like to ask you the question, David, and Ralph, uh, why are you, David, uh, first of all, why are you against, um, uh, I mean, dumping uh, the match for third place and just give them a bronze medal each? I mean, it's such a disappointment to have lost the semi-final. So you're not really motivated to play a match for third place. At least that's my view. And I think if they just keep persisting with diamonds, the clear will lose four spades. Well, I've never expressed a view on it particularly. I don't see why two bronze medals should be given out for nothing. I think they do it in Olympic boxing, don't they? But not in any uh, any other sport. So it's quite right that it's difficult for teams to lift themselves, but still. They do it in badminton also. Hasn't happened yet, folks. And the worst thing for me is that the commentary is in French. Yes, I can see it's a long tournament. It can be uh, okay. very, very um, heavy to play another 60, 90 boards. So I can accept that that uh, can give a bronze medal to both teams because of a long tournament. four spades with another trick. Is this a normal contract? I would say so, especially... But as you said earlier, David, I mean, it's such a disappointment to finish fourth. So why not avoid that by giving them both a medal? One now Trump, where others might have considered bidding two spades. Well, you could do, but that's what tends to happen in our schools. They tend to give everyone a top grading in all their tests and exams and degrade all the marks. You know, they, an A pass doesn't mean very much, so they introduce A star, and soon A star won't mean very much, and they'll introduce A double star, keep on making everyone winners and downgrading it. It may be tough to have to play a bronze medal match, but bridge is tough, so I don't really mind at all making them, making them play for it. 
I'm asked what the carryover will be in the match between USA 2 and the Netherlands. I must admit I, I, I don't have the figure on hand, but I'm sure a spectator has. And if someone cares to tell me, I will tell it to the audience. It's one imp to the Netherlands. Thank you. Yeah, it's a big sense of anti-climax here with a, a difference of 36. But remember, it was only about three hours ago that we were telling ourselves it was one of the best matches that we'd ever seen when they were neck and neck after playing for almost two days. And at least it's satisfying that the match has been well won with two marvellous slam swings and uh, a margin that no one can dispute of 36 imps. So it doesn't suddenly become uh, a less interesting match just because someone wins it well at the end. Might try for oh wait a minute, South yeah, South is available. He might take a dummy and play a club or might try And we all certainly hope to have uh, a classic final between what's proved to be the top team in America and what's proved to be Europe's top team. No reason whatsoever, particularly with the home team in the final, why that shouldn't be another cracking match for us to enjoy. Yes, I very much agree with you, and it's so nice for the host country to have at least one team in the final. And the people will flock to the venue to watch. I'm told that the Yuga theatres, they have two of them, are jam-packed every session. It's also very encouraging for the USA, having had one team that won so many uh, Bermuda Bowls, to know that they've got some uh, strong players coming through from the younger generation. We shouldn't forget how unbelievably young the US uh, two team is. I think they average about sort of uh, 29 with one player who's only 24 or 25. So that is uh, some achievement for them. First of all to fight their way through the American trial system which is not easily done. Then to beat their senior team in the semi-finals and to have got through in the final and who knows who's going to win that. So well done to that young team too. I think that will go down as the lowest losing margin of all time. A dot three. Hola, is the carry over in the final okay. too? Bas driver wins the king of I said that uh, a moment ago, uh, Ralph, that the Netherlands will carry one imp forward. Of one imp, the French seniors won their match against Poland by one imp on the very last board. Kiko, you can turn off that right-hand screen if you'd like to now. Turn that one off. Actually, he's on his way to 11 tricks. And one spectator corrected us. Oh, correct me actually, they won by 0.33 of an imp. Amazing. And, and David, you said something about the US 82 team being young, but the same applies to the Dutch team actually. It wasn't many years ago the driver and Brink were juniors. In that case, nine imps aboard and they'll still win by 0.3. Now that would be exciting, 0.3 in two matches. Was it perhaps three or four years ago? Are they in their late twenties? Something like that, around thirty, perhaps. I wouldn't sleep if I would have won by point three. Oh, I would. Okay. Here, an exciting contract of two diamonds for twenty-nine. Pio, I would take it slightly more extreme than you. I'd be going through every board I played to work out why I didn't get a bigger carry forward <laughs> in the qualifying matches. Two diamonds made two. by. From Proje Verhees, those type of boards are exactly what the Netherlands need. Dull, low, and mate. Uh, 
I know some pairs that could make it more exciting for you. Can East West make something in hearts? Two hearts, a club and a spade loser, prima facie. And you know, Italy has won so much, I think it's kind of refreshing to see the Netherlands in the final. They only won it once in 1993, I think, in Chile. I think I'm correct. And Vulcan Muller was in the team then, also. I hear that Brink is 30 and Driver 31. Once you don't do that or you don't get into the auction, it's hard when South show on four hearts. Yes, I'm c continuing to combine commentating with learning Italian from the tap-in commentary. And one of our commentators is saying, Li Olandesi Hanno Giocato Splendidamente or something, which is obviously the Dutch have played splendidly. So they can recognize it when they've been beaten by a very good team indeed. Yeah, I like that spirit. I'm also told that Van Proyen and the device are in their early 30s, 31 or 32. So a very young team, the Dutch have as well. Yeah, that makes us feel uh, even older, Roland, although I'm sure I'm much older than you. Well, yes. <laughs> but it's, it's great, because we all know how much work they put into Bridge in the Netherlands. That's, I think, 120,000 registered members. It's amazing, such a small country. 16 million, I think. If the Netherlands do get up so we are asked to comment the on the one no Trump rebit with the singleton. Well, we had to bear in mind that one diamond by South showed hearts. And when I've sold 50 seats, the price will go up to 20 euros. So that's why Bucky rebid one no Trump. I have a feeling that the Oscar thought that one diamond was natural. But it isn't. They pay time for responses to one club, so one diamond showed hearts. I noticed the other day that Sally Brock and Nicola Smith of the England women's team, they have on their card that a one no Trump opening may include a singleton. I think that's something that the uh, authorities are fairly keen about, that if you open or rebid no Trumps with a singleton, you should declare that fact. I think the king of diamonds is... One of the reasons why they do that is because most players like when you open one suit like a diamond and rebid two clubs that that absolutely promises that you've got five cards in the first suit and you can make sure that that's true as long as you uh, occasionally bid no trumps on things like four 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 one hands either opening a no trump or rebidding one no trump if partner hits your short suit with his res response. So het Witte Huis is on third position in the transnationals. It would be unreasonable of us not to note that Netherlands have scored 39-6 in this set. We've seen it all board by board, but 33 uh, imps against Italy in any set of boards is a fairly big margin. Well, we remember that the Chinese did something even more spectacular uh, the day before yesterday. I think they, they won 50 or 60 imps over... 16 boards against it, an uh, unprecedented uh, result. Right. Could you say, Roland, that the uh, Netherlands have a uh, uh, carryover of about 3.6 in? So the real well, difference is uh, about 14. No, no. No, I, no, I said one imp. Twice so even. Um, one imp. <laughs> Don't know if that's what they're trying to tell us here. Isn't right. that the country where you can 
take your own drinks with you uh, to, uh, to a dive or to a restaurant? To restaurants. A lot of the restaurants are BYO. Bring your own. Okay, Queen of Diamonds seems... Can you not do that in the Netherlands? You can, but I'm not sure if you can enter. <laughs> you pay, so a lot of them they charge 2 or $3 uh, uh, per person to drink the wine. No, we're, we're not used to, to that. Uh, to that you mean from this much, uh, Ralph, uh, how much, uh, much they carry? Yeah, cool. they carry cool. from, from this okay, match, yeah. There's a news crew here, so I want you all to behave yourselves. Two point three three. There are three boards to play and officially five minutes left in this session for this room. Let's see. So is is Bocky trying for three diamond tricks by possibly dropping the Jack doubles and the diamonds or is he gonna play safely for for two diamond tricks by playing small to the eight? Oh ten. Okay. Touch ladies just scored five imps with two boards to go. They're 22.5 adrift. It's not completely over yet, but we saw that the last board was 32. It's not a really spectacular board. I have a very happy Frenchman sitting to the left of me at the moment. In the first session today, the Venice Cup match between England and Indonesia was... Uh, the A match, and that meant that we got live uh, video feed. At one uh, stage of that, England was 40 in the lead, and you could see how sort of bright the English pair were and how depressed the Indonesians looked. <laughs> they looked as if their whole family had just died, but you can imagine they pulled back that lead and won by six, so there will be some much brighter pictures of them in tomorrow's bulletin, I dare say. Bokki is probably going down in this contract. Am I right? He will win. Yeah, he tried two to, uh, diamonds and two to win three diamond tricks, but a not club this and a spade. So they lose another couple of imps. Another but four imps. Four imps. One ten and, and four and imps will mean they will need two, ten, five. fourteen imps aboard on the last three boards. So it's all going to the Netherlands. These boards. So by now it's I'm asked if there were any women on the 22 Bermuda boat teams. Hmm. I honestly don't know. I wouldn't think so. As the qualification No, I don't think so. for the Asian zone. I wonder how many of the members of the 22 Bermuda Bowl teams are full-time pro players because it's pretty difficult to uh, compete at this level when you've got a full-time occupation used to be done in the good old days. I remember someone called Peter Swinnerton Dyer who became Master of Trinity College, Cambridge. He played a lot of international bridge I'm but sure it was very much part-time in uh, in those Maroon, days. Who would have preferred a much more exciting last ball. All we need is 3 times 13. How's that? No, that wouldn't be enough, actually. 14? Yes, that would be enough. 3 times 14 is what we're looking for. 14 would be enough. And yeah. good luck with that, Pio. Well, now this <coughs> coming from a spectator, um, it could create up quite up a up debate, up so um, I'm not going to comment on it. So. Even being a woman myself, I think separate At that rate, they should hit the top 16 after an women's events are a relic from the past. I think it really is unnecessary. Actually, Have both genders compete in the same yeah. open series.
Well, of course, as Roland hinted by even asking the question, are there any women in the Open Series, it is truly open and women are allowed to compete there if they want. It's just a question of getting through their national trials and uh, then getting through their regional qualifier if they, wherever they come from, Asia or Europe or um, over in America. So there's no rule against it. but. Uh, you know, it does seem to be that as the standard is so much better for whatever reason, we don't really know, and it's much debated, so much better among men, maybe because of their testosterone or the fact that they've got so many more hours to give to the game. Who knows? I'm not going to hazard a guess that there is a big difference in standard, just as there is uh, at Wimbledon with the tennis players. And we have had an absolutely splendid Venice Cup, so it was quite absurd, as I see it, to start saying ban the Venice Cup. You know, that's not right, is it? We've had a wonderful women's tournament, and we don't want political correctness to wrecking events that uh, have been going so wonderfully for decades. Now you have to play a club Quad through, he has. Finally. And um, yep, that'll be one down, I think, for him. The Netherlands, 40.3 the lead. And just With three boards, three boards, to, boards go. to go. Five is He went even two down, in fact. Even five is. He went two down? Two down, so it seems. I don't believe that. But no. No, no. Yes, but they've recorded it as two down. Yeah, Meanwhile, a, another not. very exciting... Yes, David, but you can't really compare it with Little tennis, Mike for instance. Rick I mean, Freud tennis is a physical Rube. sport, Losing a spade uh, and which isn't. And a which and seems a clubs. pretty solid result as some went down. Indonesia went two down. <sighs> yeah, well, of course I realise that, but I do realise that the men's and the women's yes, events at Wimbledon are both wonderful and attract uh, equal crowds and they get equal prize money and uh, it's pretty similar here we've got two excellent events and you can't just wish the world was different or the um, you know, the theory of evolution was different obviously men and women are, are different women are a lot better for example at dealing with other human beings they don't lose their tempers so much <laughs> things I know what a short temper I've got and how I couldn't possibly have been something like a teacher my god that would drive me absolutely mad so you know, we just have to uh, acknowledge I think that there is a difference for a reason that we don't really understand in uh, how good men and women are at, at playing bridge it's a little bit similar in chess Maybe there, the one or two absolutely or wonderful uh, women chess players who actually do match compete match in match open match events and are sort of in the top 20 in the world, but if you start looking at the top 100 or the top 1000, it's uh, a pretty small percentage. So I don't see what's the point of denying uh, women or seniors for that matter their own tournament. Same lead in the closed room. So, so what can you do here? Jack of hearts. As the cards lie, you can enter with a heart and play a diamond to your hand. And give up a diamond and get a diamond up. So it's four, five, six, seven. Still so you make the king of diamonds, you get a diamond drop is two, a heart is three, yeah. and four spades is seven. And when I see the result on the uh, other table, I can't see any possibility for it, Italy to pick up uh, so 40 imps. Can we say, can we see the play? Yes, thank you. Queen of spades for the king. Heart to the king. No, that's right. We had all the excitement in uh, one burst about half an hour ago, and now they're just uh, going through the motions as ha has to be done. Seemingly, a diamond, two clubs, a heart, and a spade. West had to play a club, and he 
Perhaps you'll uh, forgive us, particularly me. I'm so disappointed about the England results if we don't go through the detailed analysis of a two-spade contract when the match is already uh, determined. But it has been an absolutely marvellous day of bridge with uh, so many wonderful matches going on. You just, just can't believe it when they play for 96 boards and it's a single finger, figure margin at the end of some of the matches. And the standard of play, particularly in this match that I've seen two sessions of between Italy and the Netherlands, has been uh, exemplary. I'm asked if the Italian players can sense they have lost. I think they can. At both tables, actually. And not least, Bocchi, Madala, I mean, he could have and perhaps should have made two spades, doubled early in the set, and that might have changed things. In a way, it'll be relief to both their pairs, having had not so bright a session to go back and hear that it's the same for the other pair. You don't want them to say, we've done really well, and then your card is so so bad that you lose the match anyway. It's in the top half of the field. Not that their cards are particularly bad, but they've each had a really uh, good slam bid against them. And apart from that, there wasn't that much in the boards. So, uh, five minutes ah. <coughs> we, If we go back to that two spade hand, where Bucky was doubled. He could have gained 14 instead of 5, so going 1 down, but it would still only have been 9 imps. But what you can say is that it might have changed the momentum David was talking about before. That, I mean, you just seem, you know, to play better when you've got a super result, making a double particle hand getting a game bonus, and, you know, the adrenaline flowing. Now we're Nick Maris. What would you play now? Jack of Spades, far west. That's exactly right, and so many players think that it's really important to get your set off to a good start, that they play very adventurously on the first board, hoping to gain the initiative. Of course it can misfire, but I mean, okay. you've got to take risks to uh, accumulate gains in, a, in an awful lot of pastimes, and it's the same with bridge players. If you think of that, the next time you watch the first board of a set and see if you think the players are really bidding just that bit more, trying to maybe make a thin game on the first board. I know that uh, Brogelin thinks that way. If you can just get one board early in the set, then you've got the momentum with you. The opponents are going to be a bit more reluctant to take uh, risks when they've had their fingers burned once. And you can usually add a few more imps on top of one really good result your way. The whole problem, <laughs> as most of us have found out in our bridge careers, that it's not so easy to get this really big swing in the uh, right column of the scorecard. So it's, you might say, well, that's pretty useless advice. <laughs> Why is he telling us that? And then what? Right. Cash is ace, queen of clubs and exits with a spade. And again, West can't get in to draw that third spade. Well, he doesn't need to. If you give him a club... Oh, you mean he would play the eight of clubs? It's possible. Right. Well, that's what he's thinking about. He hasn't put the queen in yet. Meanwhile, the gap between... It's all also worth there. noting that uh, three of the teams have full-time professionals, and the only team that doesn't have full-time professionals uh, is the Dutch team. Well, only semi-professionals. So here declare is bound to lose spades. Oh. 
hearts, two clubs and a diamond for a push. Yes. Shh, shh, shh. And that means with two boards to go that it's almost certain that the Netherlands will hit the finals. You know, no, we only need 21 per board. Yeah. Keep on dreaming, uh, Theo. Just mathematics. No, it's part of the ViewGraph commentator's code of conduct to make it as exciting as possible with two boards to go. Yeah. Well, I don't think there's... You don't have to do much to um, excite the audience. Yeah, sorry. Please. It's nice to see our Italian colleagues being gracious in defeat, congratulating the Dutch and saying that they played better. Good to see. In a so long tournament of this, it's also important to keep the concentration uh, through all the matches and when playing so difficult systems as many players do, it will take some uh, concentration. Perhaps you can refresh my memory, Roland. I forget where the four semi-finalists came at the end of the round robin. Mm, yes, I can. Italy won the round robin from the Netherlands. USA came third, and USA, USA two came third, and USA won fifth. Yeah, so I bet USA won. We're not uh, a very favoured pick from the teams <laughs> higher up in the list. Must have been the team who came fourth that ended up having to play them. None of which will help. It'll be a spade loser, a heart loser, two clubs and a diamond for 110 flat board, and a dream for the Dutch supporters. Flat boards here. So the Indonesian ladies is probably the only surprising result. Also nice to though. see they keep fighting I mean, on both sides the there. They both have a feeling the score line, but they can't be 100% certain. So they even give the part scores, well, even trivial part scores, some consideration because well, there might be only a few uh, imps in it strong uh, teams. Yep. It's amazing and we know that they were trained by Eric Kokish. I just heard that uh, indeed Eric Kokish was the coach of uh, Indonesia but it was quite a time ago but they have a uh, a massive school program, is that correct, uh, P.O.? Yes, they have a school uh, bridge. They have a school school I'm sorry for not commenting on the hands in, in detail, uh, but I'm sure you can understand that even commentators uh, can get a little disappointed or deflated or tired, whatever, when things are decided. So apologies if we don't do enough. In this regard, plus 100 seems like a fairly good result for North South. In the open room, South we've mentioned a few times during this session that um, a very popular method is to play transfers after there's been a takeout double. Here we see North has bid uh, a heart when he's got a spade suit. Well, you can see what a, a good method that is, because if you've got a weak hand with spades, you can just bid a heart, and if partner chooses to bid a spade with two or three spades, you can pass if there's no further bidding, which is absolutely great. Even when the level's higher, it's still going to work really well, because when you've got a weakish hand with a long suit, instead of bidding it, which would normally be forcing, and in many systems forcing to gain, 
you transfer into it, and then it's your partner's responsibility if he carries the bidding any higher, because he has to allow initially for the fact that your response may be in the minimum range for bidding at all. And on many hands, with nothing much to spare, he's just going to rebid your suit. So this is uh, one of the many areas of bidding. Another is when you're responding to partner's overcall, when transfers are being used more and more in the expert game, and surely will be used in exactly those same situations in most club games around the country in uh, 5, 10, or 20 years' time. Perhaps I would be allowed to mention that all these new uses of transfers are going to be in a, a new book, Bridge at the Edge, written by uh, Boy Brogeland. I think it's, he calls his name Boya, I think, Boya Brogeland. And uh, in fact, myself, yes. Boya. But okay, doesn't matter. Uh, and one further aspect here is that by playing transfers, you will often make um, the opening hand declarer, and you really want uh, the defender with the values on lead uh, rather than his partner, who can lead a card through you. You want the lead coming up to you. Suppose your partner is overcalled in spades, and you've got three cards okay, spade support but a very good heart suit. By transferring into hearts, if you're given the space, you can show your hearts, and when partner bids hearts, you then bid spades. So that's the whole advantage of uh, uh, transfers, really, that you give yourself two bites at the cherry. Maybe you give up one natural bid in the process, but you get so many more sequences uh, in return. It's a familiar With process when your partner's opened one no trump. Ah, right. Okay, you can't make a weak sign off in two diamonds, but just look how much you get in exchange for that sacrifice. You get a whole range of rebids you can make. After two diamonds, two hearts, you can now bid two spades, two no trumps, three clubs, three no trumps. You're getting uh, six or seven sequences in exchange for just giving up one. So it's obvious that uh, whoever was the first person to think of transfer bids is a complete genius, and uh, it's a bit unfair that Stamen has got his name on that two-club convention, Mr. Labensoul, whoever he was, also his name is well known. And nobody in particular seems to... Uh, they were called Jacobi transfers, weren't they, or sometimes Flint transfers in England. But no one has particularly become world famous, and yet it was probably the best invention of the lot. Uh, the transfers uh, were devised by um, Oswald Jacobi. Okay, I need to check. Any Italian supporters in the room? There's also the Jacobi Tuno Trump convention, no, but um, that's only been used quite recently, so it's surprising it's got uh, a player from back in the dark ages that his name is attached to it. Was that convention sure played then, or is it someone else called uh, Jacoby uh, Roland? No, it's the same, actually. It was Oswald. It was, really? Yeah. His son, Jim Jacoby, who died rather young, uh, was also involved at some point. That convention is played by ooh, a huge number of pairs now, maybe at least half of those playing in this in this tournament, but it wasn't popular when I started playing the game. I'd never heard of it, and that's why I think of one spade, two no trumps to show a sound spade raise as being uh, quite a recent convention. So maybe people didn't like it in the old days. I think it's because one spade, three spades is played preemptive by so many players nowadays, following the maximum of raising as high as you can when you've got a good fit, that the players are looking around more for as many sequences as possible to deal with the uh, the strong raises of partners' suit. So tomorrow the finals will start of the Bermuda Bowl and of the Venice Cup and the seniors, but the Bermuda Bowl, they play 128 hands. They play Thursday and Friday, and the last 32 hands 
on Saturday starting at 10.30 again. So 10.30, 1.45 and 4.45 tomorrow. Same on Friday and then two sessions on Saturday, which I don't know the exact times, but I imagine it's 10.30 and 1.45 again. And please be sure you... I was asked by someone why South did not well, rebid one spade on this hand. Seat, well, it's a good question because uh, I wouldn't have been surprised if he had have done. On a serious note, but um, this he had a balanced hand. He was happy to describe what he had exactly with a limit bid. But there's a reason why he didn't. One spade would show exactly three cards in spade. So one note trump showed two. Well, that's the system after a club pass, a heart, which is a transfer, but I'm not sure if exactly the same applies. You may, you may well be right. They're not allowed to honour the transfer if they've got a, only got a doubleton. That certainly doesn't apply at, uh, at the two level. No. Nope. I mean, some can do it with a doubleton, but most pairs play it as exactly three. So with three cards you bid one spade, which is forcing. You can be very strong for your one spade bid. If you have less than three spades, you bid something else. And if you have four spades, you jump to two spades. So in effect, you support one spade to two spades. Shows a minimum hand with four card support. Well, that certainly wouldn't apply at the two level because I've seen hands where the opener has gone back into partner's suit with a singleton to allow for the fact that a partner may be uh, bidding at the two level after intervention or after a double on a pretty weak hand and just wants to compete to that level. Yep. For example, if the, right. if the bidding, if it there was an overcall in to the one level. Sorry. How can winning be so boring? I wonder. Yes, I, I was going to say that if it was an overcall rather than a double from the west hand, you wouldn't be able to rebid one no trump, really, although players do unless you had some hint of a stopper in the suit, so you might find yourself stuck for a bit if you had to have three card support. Short brings switch to the check of clubs? Not sure. Wrote 100, 90, I, I think, think, I think he made it. Contract is made due to the fact that Short Brink at a certain point switched to the Jack of Clubs. So while the sound is playing out, let me take the opportunity to thank uh, Bas van Beisafo, our operator in Southhoven. Well done as usual. The operators have been tremendous. I think they have been very, very good. They've been practicing for ages, and they're doing a magnificent job. Two spades went two off in the closed room, and you'll recall this was the hand on which France managed to win by 0.3 of a VP, a uh, 0.3 of an imp. Also, thanks to my co-commentators, David Bird and Ralph Wilquist, to our colleagues from Italy, doing the written commentary. To all our viewers for coming this afternoon and early evening in Europe, and of course to the WBF, the World British Federation, for allowing us to broadcast from this prestigious event, greatly appreciated by British fans all over the world. Thank you, Roland, and thank you, David, too, and also Kimi, sir, and of course, operator. Well, he can't really double. That wouldn't be penalties, I don't think. I think he's hoping his yeah. partner can double. These big tournaments all end with a really 
incredible dinner, I think. Maybe the food the food may be wonderful or, or it may be uh, so-so, but in any case, everyone is really happy when it's all over. So my question to Roland was, are there people who've worked so hard doing the uh, view graph operation, are they going to be invited to this dinner or will they have some meal of their own in some good restaurant in town? They're going to be invited, all staff, everyone who has contributed to making this a great success will be invited to the official party. Fifty or a hundred in the other room, so they'll give away four or five imps. Very happily, I might add. Okay. And as so far as like food is food is concerned, concerned, I have to say it, it depends uh, when the world you are. I must say, well, at least to my taste, it's sometimes it's very very good, and sometimes it's not so good started playing diamonds, so the Clara was left with four spade losers, a heart rubs five, a diamond It's six, very six, difficult seven. catering for hundreds of people to a high standard, isn't it? You can just imagine how difficult that is. I mean, I enjoy drinking wine, but I very, very rarely get what you might, <laughs> might call drunk. But I certainly did when uh, the European Championships were held in Brighton many years ago. That was uh, a great dinner and I enjoyed it. I think all the people on my table were Scandinavian actually and they, see, they seem to know the meaning of uh, enjoying themselves. So what I've termed the Raptor Convention used in some places. The one no Trump overcall shows a four card major and a longer minor. Okay, David, I leave the mic to you. I have Thank you. to do some work. I'm uh, very happy. I want to come back. Tomorrow. Not mainstream by any means. Most people play it as a natural one no Trump. 15 to 18, something like that, with a stopper in hearts. When you take up any convention, you have to look very, very carefully at the natural bid that you're replacing. And the one no trump natural overcall is such an important part of bidding, particularly now when people open uh, very light ahead of you, that I would certainly not recommend replacing that with uh, the Raptor convention, even if uh, the team currently using it have just, <laughs> just got into a world final. Makes you wonder what on earth they have to do when they have got a one no trump overcall. They probably have to double even though they've only got a doubleton in the other major, things like that. So there are very few conventions that come for free and certainly not the Raptor convention. I'm asked to tell the audience, latecomers, about tomorrow's finals. And let me do that. In the Bermuda Bowl, we have the Netherlands against USA 2. In the Venice Cup, we will have Indonesia against France. And in the seniors, France against USA 2. We will be doing the view graph from 10.30 tomorrow morning. All matches to be broadcast on BBO, of course. First three segments tomorrow. And we have a bonus broadcast in the evening tomorrow. One, two matches actually from the first segment of the quarterfinals in the transnational teams. Well, how long has it been since no Italian team made the finals of any of the events? Well, again, I don't know that 
on hand here by heart, but I don't think it was that long ago. I do remember when Italy chose South Africa as the quarter-final opponent and they lost, as some of us remember, and I don't think that Italy was in the final in the other two events either. Was it uh, four years ago in Beijing? I think it was. I mean, have uh, the Italian women, do they have uh, a strong history? I'm not sure that they do. No, they don't. France has been dominating France and the USA. Two USA teams, France, Netherlands, always in contention. And England lately. We do know that they are world champions. I think you said in an earlier match that the USA have won the Venice Cup ten times out of uh, something like 15 or 16 and got uh, silvers and the bronze too. So it was quite a shock really when neither of their teams made the semi-finals this year. Probably the first time ever in Venice Cup history. Is that what you said? Uh, yes. Uh, I didn't say any thing about 10 times out of 15, I don't think. Uh, but it could very well be that. And it is correct that uh, the USA has always made it to at least the semi-finals in the Venice Cup. But uh, it's the first time for everything, and you can't just keep winning. One, one of the reasons why the USA women are so strong is that they play an enormous amount of open bridge. In some countries they have a lot of women's events and the uh, squads there play a lot of their tournament bridge against other women. But you can imagine how uh, tough it is for American women to compete against all the American pros in their uh, wonderful national events which are held four times a year. So I'm told that um, in the Venice Cup, USA won 10 gold medals, 5 silver and 1 bronze. Which completely dwarfs the record of uh, any other country. I think England have won it once. As far as I know, they also won what used to be called the... Uh, Olympiad and is now called the some sure, ghastly name like forgotten. the Mind Sports or other. Yes. So went straight to the pinky neck, straight to the check, cut rough. So, well, also asked about why USA has two teams. I, I'll come back to that uh, tomorrow or, or the day after. We, we've been around that subject a, a couple of times. So, hope you understand that. We wait a little. The 100 to Italy to go with the 100 that Italy scored in the closed room. It'll give them five imps. The last and two finals in the women's uh, were won by China. One in Philadelphia and one in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And in the Bermuda Bowl this year, the Chinese Open team performed very strongly. So. That was uh, really good to see. I think they were knocked out, yes, in a close match with Italy, and everyone said that most of the uh, supporters are pleased that Italy has gone through. Well, that was true. But on the other hand, I thought it's incredibly important to have China in the world of bridge. <clears throat> they joined it pretty late. But uh, if you think of all the 
players that they've got, probably sort of dwarfing the number of players in the whole of the rest of the world at some stage or other. You know, we really need them to be there, and it's good to see their top teams doing well. So next year we have uh, the Olympiad somewhere, sometime. No one really knows where and when. We also have the European Championships next summer. And in two years' time, we'll have the World Championships again in Bali, Indonesia. We're not quite sure about the venue for the European Championships either. Well, it was meant to be in Greece. I know that, but I also know that it may not be Greece after all because of the financial situation in that country. I don't think the decision has been made yet, but I'm not 100% sure. Do the entry fees to events like this come anywhere close to covering the staging, or are they totally reliant on sponsors? Yes, totally relying on sponsors. And even so, they don't make a profit. It will cost the Dutch Federation money. That's normal. I remember in 2004 when the European Championships were held in, in Sweden, and Ralph knows uh, something about that, it was a disaster for the uh, Swedish British Federation, it cost a fortune. Isn't that correct, uh, Ralph? I don't remember this. down here. No, South Sand played to give him his club and heart trick. So he's in fact lost two diamonds. A heart rough three. So time for us to say goodbye. We will be back tomorrow, obviously. David will be back twice even. Morning match and late afternoon match. Thank you very much. Ralph will also be there in the late afternoon match. They just don't know yet because they haven't got the assignments yet. They know they signed up and they know that I took we'll notes. Thanks very much, company. Right, I think I can smell my supper, the smell of that coming up the stairs. So I'll say goodbye to everyone and it's been a wonderful day's viewing which I've really enjoyed. Thanks very much to everyone. Thank you, David. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Yeah, also time for Ralph and me to bow out. Thank you very much, everyone, and goodbye for now. Bye.